What up, what up? Hope everybody doing good. I want to talk a little basketball with you guys. Before we get started, I need you guys to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. Help me grow the channel. Hey, y'all, I got to talk about the Lakers, man. I'm, I'm impressed what I'm seeing right now on the court. You know, AD and LeBron out right now. They still rehabbing. Even though LeBron and AD are out, they, they didn't, LeBron didn't miss 15 games. The Lakers have went seven and eight since LeBron got hurt. That, that's big. They, they not, they not 500, but they right, right there at 500. Cause I expected with LeBron missing 15 games, the Lakers would probably be five and 10, four and, four and 11, three and 12, but they holding their own. Big shout out to Frank Vogel. Frank Vogel can coach, man. When, when Frank Vogel first got that job over there in LA, a lot of people questioned the how. But man, Frank Vogel know what he's doing. I check Frank Vogel out doing timeouts. When they when they when they run a play, they execute the play, and it, and it works. A lot of Frank Vogel plays work, man. That guy that guy knows what he's doing, man. Like I said, big shout out to Frank Vogel. But this right here, I'm talking about the whole Lakers team right now. The Lakers are currently fifth in the West. They have the the best odds to make it out the West. They have the second best odds to win the NBA Finals. Now that the, the Brooklyn Nets have the first best odds to win the championship. Man, I'm liking what I'm seeing, man. Yesterday, the Lakers beat the Jazz. KCP showed up. KCP hit 25. I want to see, I want to say, uh, Schroeder had 25. Andre Drummond had about 26, 27. You know, Andre Drummond, he been struggling to get acclimated with the Lakers, but man, he came on strong yesterday. Just think about when LeBron and AD get back with Andre Drummond in the lineup. He gonna be getting all the rebounds. They gonna be running on that fast break, you know. They're going to be looking good, man, if the guys get back, get, get their feet up on them. Especially LeBron, you know, he he been a little bit older. He need to get back on the court before the playoffs start. Now, the Lakers' biggest threat in the West right now is the Clippers. The Lakers going to have to play. The, they can't take the Clippers lightly, man. On the Tyloo, I'm liking what I'm seeing for them L.A. Clippers right now. Paul George has stepped up. You know, a lot of people talk down on Paul George, but man, Paul George playing, playing big boy ball. I watched him last week. I think Paul George hit 36 one game. I'm hitting, hitting some tough shots, man. They used to try to say Paul George was weak, but I don't think Paul George was weak, man. I just think he didn't want to be in the bubble last year. But this year right here, he came back with a vengeance. And it has quite Kawhi Leonard. He always solid as usual, man. Then the, then the Clippers then picked up Rondo. That was a big addition. So the Lakers have, they have competition. Right now, the Lakers have an easier path to the finals also. I want to say the Lakers will be playing the Nuggets and the Jazz trying to get to the playoffs. Whereas the Clippers will be playing Phoenix and Portland. You know, Dame and Little and them, they're going to get, they going to get the Clippers all they want. That's if this, the current path stay like this. The season stay like it is. That's going to be the Clippers and the Lakers path to the finals. But, man, like I said, man, I'm impressed. Just think about it. Seven and eight, you would what out of LeBron and what out of AD. AD is expected back this week right here. Man, I want to see what AD look like. But AD should shine, man. The Lakers should pick up and get a couple more wins before LeBron get back. And it's going to be tough. It's going to be some good finals, man. I want to see it, man. You get, I seen Kevin Durant got hurt today a little bit. You know, I don't know if his, his injury is going to hurt him, prevent him from being himself in the playoffs. But if the Lakers and the Brooklyn Nets do make the finals, man, that's going to be a big finals. They're going to be one of the better finals in a while. They're going to be something like when Cleveland played Golden State that year, the Cleveland beat Golden State. Man, that, that hard competition. And that's what you want to see in the NBA finals, man. Everybody going all out for loose balls, tough defense, you know, Man, it's a shooter's game. The coach is making good calls on timeout, good substitution, man. Like I say, this is a big year for the Lakers, man. If LeBron and AD can repeat they, and before LeBron retire and maybe get one more, the question about who the better between LeBron and Michael Jordan, you know, it, it, LeBron being closed the gap a lot, man, if he can get him one or, more, two, one or two more rings before he retire, man. But like I said, this is looking good. The Lakers are 7-8 without LeBron. Even I doubted the Lakers could maintain that type of record. I thought they were, like I said, 3-12 and 12 or 4-11. and 11. But I want to hear what you guys think about the Lakers. Also, hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. Help me grow the channel. And thank you.